Hi, I'm Nyx. I'm going to quickly guide you through how to add objects to Twitch integrated throwing system. So when you download it, it'll look something roughly like this. You'll see like the throw scene to add objects. You go into object manager in the white box, you right click and you can import whatever you want thrown at you. After you're done throwing all the things in there, you go to trigger manager and you would click new trigger and then you'll click that. And if you're doing something like channel points on Twitch, for example, make sure your redeem title is the same on Twitch integrated throwing system as Twitch, just so it syncs. Um, but you can also do like follow subscription bits, things on YouTube, have fun, experiment, see what works for you. Um, you can do different amounts to throw with cooldowns, delays, all that jazz. And after you figure out everything you want here, you'll go to object customization. You can right click, enable, disable all, or you can like click one, right click, and just like enable a few, whatever you prefer, whatever you like. And you can also, after you're done with that, um, you can test it. Make sure you like how it works. And if it's like only throwing one and you have the option of like two things, it'll just randomly pick one. But yeah, have fun experimenting, playing around, adding things. You can add your own art, like all of them. All my objects are things that I have drawn on my iPad, which I think is super fun. Um, they are all 2D, but I still think they look quite nice. They're still pretty fun to see. So you'll see, like, here's my love letter testing it. Here's, like, a, a love bomb testing just to see what it roughly looks like. I think it still looks pretty nice, even though it's 2D. You can also do 3D items. Um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so definitely experiment. Have fun. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye!